Today I'm gonna to be doing something on my channel that I've never done before. We're trying new things here in this quarantine season and I am going to be trying on shapewear for the very first time. I'm excited but also nervous. I'm gonna specifically be trying on Honey Love shapewear. This video is sponsored by Honey Love, but as always, I'm gonna give you guys my full and honest opinion. And of course, I'll link their site down below in case you guys wanna check them out as well. But I was first drawn to this brand when I saw it on my Instagram ads. I remember seeing it like over and over again and being like, hmm, I'm really intrigued by this, but I don't know. And then I saw my friend Brie Martinez on YouTube do a video talking about it. And that was like what sold it for me. I was like, okay, I absolutely have to try it because she looked amazing. As a little bit of a background, or in case you haven't heard of them before, Honey Love is an inspiring new shapewear company created by women for women with the goal of increasing confidence and allowing women everywhere to fully step into power and feel like the badasses that we are. I love that. I love their message. It really resonates with me. Obviously, as someone who bases a lot of my content around body confidence and women empowerment and accepting your body right here and now, it's really nice to find a brand that aligns with that. So that's what was like, okay, that was the final nail in the coffin, I was like, we've got to do this. They carry sizes extra small to 3X, which is great. They are US based and ethically responsible, even better. And their team is 90% women, which mm, you know we love. And obviously going into this video and with my message of loving yourself right here and now, nobody needs shapewear, obviously. Like we know that. It's sort of just there for you for if you want an extra confidence boost in your life, much like makeup or hair extensions or whatever it is that you know, you're beautiful with, but you're also equally as beautiful without. So I just kind of want to make sure that that message is clear going into this. As a little bit of my history with shapewear, I've actually never really worn it before. I did wear one type of kind of like supportive bike shorts when I was in a wedding, but that's my extent of it really. So I am like brand new to this. I'm really, really excited to try this stuff out. What I really loved when I was online shopping for the product is that Honey Love's website does what a lot of other websites are doing right now, which is including different size models to showcase the items that they're selling, you can get an idea of not only what a item is gonna look like on your body type, but you just also have more size representation that way. So obviously we all wanna know what they look like. That's why we're here, right? So here are the items that I chose. This is the Superpower short in the color nude, and then I also got it in black. I chose to go with the shorts because I definitely have a little bit more of a chafing problem on my inner thighs, but they do have these available in briefs and even a thong version as well. So they have a variety. The first thing I noticed when I took it out of the package is that it has this structure on the sides and it helps it so that you're obviously like supported on either side. And then since it goes so high up on your waist, it also prevents it from rolling down as well, which is a huge problem that I have when I'm wearing undergarments. It's really flexible as well. So like, yeah, it's structured, but it's not gonna like make you suffocate. It feels really flexible. There's also like this little X here in the middle, which is for targeted compression. So I think that that's sort of what makes this stand apart from everything else. That's what's gonna really do a lot of the work. And if I were to wear shapewear, that's what I would want my kind of like targeted area to be. So I was really excited to see that. There is also something that I've never seen before that I found quite interesting. And there is actually an opening right here in case you need to use the restroom. So you can actually see right here at the bottom that there is an opening that just makes it for like easier bathroom access, which, <laughs> We all love. And they also have what's called boost band technology, I think is what they said. And it's basically something that's going to help like tone your thighs and lift your butt. They also include detachable straps if you wanna use them for a little bit more support as well. So obviously you guys wanna see me try these on. So I'm gonna pick a couple different outfits for each one and then just show you how I'd wear them, give you a little before and after. And I'm just as anxious as you guys to see what these look like on. So let's do it. Okay, so here is what it looks like on its own before I start trying it on with other things. It's really comfortable. I really like the structure of it. This is like what you can expect. Definitely a little bit of a lift. Feels like everything's held in. This is just my normal bralette, but it goes right underneath the boobs, which helps so, so much. I definitely have an area underneath my boobs that can tend to roll over and it's just, it actually is like uncomfortable. It gets really sweaty. So this just kind of like comes right underneath and prevents that from happening. Very stretchy, but like still feels like you're supported and held in, which I love. The short don't feel like they're gonna hike up at all and then this doesn't feel like it's gonna roll down either like you just feel like everything is really held in place so now I'm gonna do this in comparison with some outfits so I'll put on an outfit show you what it looks like before without any shapewear and then I'll put this back on and show you what it looks like so 
let's do it. All right, so starting off, I have a dress on that I got from Hollister that I wore a lot over the summer last year and I love it, but I don't feel like 100% confident in it all the time. It's just hugging my body a little bit tighter and so it's been in a pile of clothes that basically I'm deciding if I wanna donate or not. So I wanna give it a try with the shapewear. This is obviously before with absolutely nothing on underneath it. I just have my underwear and my little bralette with it. So here's the before of what it looks like. And here we have the after. I definitely noticed big difference especially kind of like right in this area which is they say the targeted area where like the little x is in the material this is what it looks like underneath so nothing crazy at all like sometimes you see shapewear and it looks like this like wild contraption and you're like am i safe and this actually looks completely fine it's just like bike shorts that go up really 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 high which i actually love the structure on the sides is super comfortable you barely even notice it's there and then like when you bend over it really helps keep everything just kind of like one uniform shape instead of spilling out over which I do a lot and yeah I think this is so cute I still think I look cute with it beforehand but I just feel like a little bit elevated now I think even my booty looks a little bit cuter this does give you like a little bit of a lift and my thighs feel nice and like held in you guys will have to let me know if you can see a difference down below but I think we're off to a good start so I'm gonna try on I think one more shorter item with these nude ones and then we'll do some longer skirts and dresses with the black one okay next up we have this romper that I got from H&M I want to say like a year and a half ago or something like that and it's one of my favorite rompers it's so comfortable I even gave it to my friend Sierra to wear for a week when we did videos wearing each other's clothes for a week so like last year maybe or something like that it's like you know summery it's nice for the climate that I live in but also I definitely feel like because the waistline sits right here it kind of accentuates my lower stomach area which is a big insecurity of mine and I don't think that there's anything wrong with admitting even when you are in a body positive space that you do have areas of your body that you don't feel as comfortable flaunting so even though there's nothing absolutely nothing wrong with it it's just something that lives in your own head and it kind of like messes with you a little bit and so I'm really interested to see if this is gonna help with that at all because then maybe I'll just stop obsessing over it in my head and then I'll just be able to like fully enjoy whatever I'm doing in an outfit that I love without just focusing on like one targeted area you know so here is what it looks like it's a little bit short so I'm worried that the shorts might be a little bit long so I might have to pull them up a little bit but um, we're gonna see what it looks like I'm pretty excited the first results were really good so I'm very hopeful this time around I feel like I noticed a huge difference I did have to roll the shorts up a little bit just because they weren't short enough for this but you could totally wear the briefs or the thong with it if you wanted more of like a cropped kind of shorter short look I just like having the option of having them a bit longer to prevent chafing and stuff like that I'm pretty impressed I think we should move on to the black pair they're obviously Obviously the exact same pair but since the shorts are a black color and they'd be a bit more noticeable I thought I would wear them with some like longer skirts and dresses so you guys can get an idea even though it's the same shape where I genuinely don't want to take this off though like it's so cute I really want to keep wearing this outfit. Okay, and here is what the black looks like. So really similar, it's the exact same thing, but if it's something that you're wearing like a black dress with or something that's maybe a bit of a darker color or if it's just something that you feel more comfortable in. I know a lot of people just feel more comfortable in black. I probably should have put on a black bra for this part, but whatever, this is what I've got on. Super comfortable, super flexible. You can totally move around in this. It's definitely holding you in, but not confining or trapping you. So I love that. So I'm gonna try on two more outfits again the same thing as before try them on beforehand and then put this baby on and see what the difference is You know the drill by now next up. I have this dress which I did get on thread up I got secondhand, but it's originally from urban outfitters It still even has the original tags on it and this is such a beautiful dress. I love the like red orange color. I love how like islandy and Hawaii ish it felt I really wanted to wear it to Hawaii on a trip. Hopefully Someday that will happen. So I thought that since it's such a cute dress already, I maybe would like take it to the next level with some shapewear. I think this would be like the perfect candidate for something like that. So here is a little before of what it looks like. You know, obviously nothing at all wrong with wearing it like this whatsoever. Still extremely cute, but it is probably the tightest dress I own. So it just feels a little uncomfy because I'm just not used to wearing tight clothes. So we're gonna see what it looks like with the black pair that I just had on, I'm gonna slip it back on and we're gonna see what difference it makes. I don't know. I don't know. I'm hopeful. Oh. <laughs> 
my god you guys this is perfect i feel like this dress is the perfect example of what i want out of this situation it doesn't change my body at all it's not making my body look completely different than it already is it's sort of just giving me that little extra boost of confidence that i wanted without like contorting me or like changing the actual shape because i love the shape of my body i love that you can still see that i have a little bit of a belly it just sort of elevates the dress a little bit in my opinion it's for like you know for me it would be for like a special occasion like if I was to go back to Hawaii and Drew and I went on like some cute little beach dinner I'm definitely going to be saving this dress for that moment whenever it may happen I mean my butt looks cute just being honest the so last but not least I will show you a bit longer of a skirt so not just a dress but like an actual skirt and how it looks with it because I want to compare not just dresses but also tops and bottoms with it as well so we're gonna see and last but not least here is an outfit that I wear all the time I feel like this is such a carry outfit I'm pretty sure I thrifted this entire look I know definitely the skirt I wear a lot of midi skirts as you guys know I love leopard print ones I love floral ones I love me a good thrifted midi skirt it's like a staple in my wardrobe so I'm really Really curious to see because I've tried on three dresses so far so I want to see what it's gonna be like with a two-piece type of situation or at least a skirt and I'm also wearing a crop top so I'm curious to see again like if that's gonna affect it at all if you're gonna be able to see it so we're gonna put it to the test here we have it with the shape we're on you can't tell at all I was really worried I was like okay maybe with the crop top it's not gonna look as nice it kind of just looks like a dress like it normally did when I wear a crop top and a skirt anyways none of my stomach usually shows so it goes perfectly with it this will also be great for me when it's that time of the month and I'm bloating it's not too tight either like I really am sensitive to things that are tight around my stomach and I don't feel I've been wearing this and the other pair for like the last hour of my life and I don't feel a thing Sometimes when I'm wearing certain pants, even wearing it for like two minutes makes my stomach hurt. And so far I feel completely fine. You know how sometimes you wear things and they really inhibit you physically? <laughs> certain pairs of jeans or whatever, these are super, super flexible. I'd be able to like go out dancing, do my thing, walk around, go filming. These are all hypothetical things that we will hopefully be able to do in the future. But yeah, I think this was a great way to close it out. I wanted to show a little bit of difference just wearing it with something other than a dress. So you can totally wear it even if there's like a cutout or if you're doing a crop situation, it shows that you can still wear it with that too. I felt really confident and beautiful at the beginning, the start of making this video, and I still feel the same exact way. So I'm a big fan and now I'm gonna go try it on with basically every single thing I own. Goodbye. So overall, I'm pretty much sold. Like they're amazing. The only sort of like constructive bit of criticism I would give is the price point. It is a bit high, but I sort of look at it like a cost per wear type of situation where like if you invest in something that's gonna last you a lot longer, then it's definitely worth the investment in my opinion. Or if it's something that you see yourself wearing quite a bit, I feel like it pays itself off if that makes sense. So yeah, that was like one other little thing that I thought I would touch on. But overall, I really, really loved this. Really fun video to film. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me try out something a little different. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed it. Of course, I will link Honey Love down below in case you guys want to go check them out. Everything I wore will be linked down below as well. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can turn on my post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. And yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one.